Ferguson's office. Oh, hello. When did you arrive in Chicago? You know, we're just getting ready to close now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Luna Lake. Then we took the taxi. We went on the east side. Yeah. All right, there's going to be other room with me and have a conversation in there. I don't want to get right into this. I'll see you at the house. You'll be free tonight, Mary. But if you were, it's a silver wedding. We've got a party. All the children and grandchildren, all the relatives. I'll get there. Mr. Ferguson's office, yes. Oh, this is Fuller, Mr. Ferguson's secretary talking. Will you hold that a minute? Yes, we're working on them now. We'll mail them out tonight. Goodbye. We've got to go tonight. In a hurry. And how? Jack Merrick. Yep. He's pretty steady, isn't he? That's your buzzer. Hey, you'd better buzz down to that party of yours. I'm off. Oh, fully? Yes? Come here. Come here. <laughs> goodbye. Oh, goodbye. See you tomorrow. No. I won't be here tomorrow. Don't tell anyone, though. Why not? Swear not to tell. Sure. Oh, I can't now. I'll write and tell you all about it. Oh, anything serious? Oh, very serious. We expect you and your father tonight. Thank you very much. Don't forget, huh? Oh. Hello, Mr. Barrett. Hello, old timer. How are you? Say, you and Marion doing anything tonight? Oh, we don't be still. Say, can you keep a secret? Sure. Take a peek at this. Look. Well, well, that's funny. I'm just 25 years ahead of you. No kidding. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Ferguson's right here. Mrs. Ferguson. Hello, my dear. No, I'm going to work here tonight. Yes, I know it's a good opera. No, I'll get a sandwich at the club later. Good for my waistline. Yes. Goodbye. on this? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I've got it. The license. Mr. License himself. Look. John Merrick, a single man. Marion Donald, a single <laughs> woman. Both white. <laughs> Come on, what are you saying? Oh, you mean one of my notes? What's the idea? Well, I'll be back in a minute. Now, listen. Now, you're all washed up on that stuff. Come on. Oh, you go right in and tell him now. Yes, now come on, hurry up. Well, hurry up now. Miss Donald, you made a mistake here of over $10 million. Oh, no. Well, a few million dollars more or less. Mr. Ferguson, I should have told you before, but um, I've had such an exciting day. I I'm leaving. Leaving? Yes, to get married. Married? Yes. When's the happy day? It's tonight. Tonight? Sounds like an elopement. It is. Who's the lucky boy? Well, uh, if you don't mind, I'd rather not say. I see. I hope he's worthy of you. Chicago boy? Oh, yes. Yeah. What's his business? Well, he hasn't exactly a business. He's somebody's son. <laughs> How <laughs> unusual. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, well, it's Jack Merrick. Merrick? John Merrick's boy? Yes. Yeah. I see what you mean by somebody's son. He's going to work. You're marrying money. No, I'm marrying the man. He's the son of one of the really big fortunes. That doesn't matter. He should work. Every man should work. You work, Mr. Ferguson, and you're rich. Well, I'm rather a lonely old man. My work keeps me occupied. So you're off tonight? Yes. Crazy kid. It's serious. <laughs> Marriage is a serious step for a woman. I'm not afraid. Young love seldom is afraid. Well, I'll finish these. No, no, no. Never mind. 
I'm sorry this is so sudden. Well, this sort of thing usually is sudden, isn't it? Sure I can't correct my mistake? No, no. Oh, thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll miss you. Thank you. Goodbye and good luck. Thank you, Mr. Ferguson. Goodbye. Please get Please out, out of here. Of here. Wait, I have to put everything in order now. Wait a minute, I have to put this one. Oh, you're in the man of the family. I'll put that down. Well, maybe that's the last I'll ever see there. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Will you get out of here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, if I heard. Oh, All right, now, come okay, on. Hurry up. I'm going to find out something. Come on. 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 Come on, no. Come on, Will you get out of here? We've got a date with a very important girl. You know where we ought to be now? Mm -hmm. Just where we are. Mm -mm. In the sunny south of France. The sunny south of France? You know, motor down from Paris through the south of France. Get on the yacht at Marseille. And then all the way down the Mediterranean to Algiers. I mean a real honeymoon. Darling, isn't this a real honeymoon? Of course it is. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Happy. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh. broke it. Say, Jack, you better fix that. Oh, let the hotel fix it. No, you fix it. Why? <laughs> well, if you don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, will you cut that out? Hey, Come on, listen, cut stop it. that. Will you? <laughs> listen, listen, the phone is ringing. Will you let me answer that? <laughs> Hello? Hey. <laughs> Hello? Speaking. What? Well, tell him I'll be right down. I didn't say send him up. Was it Mr. Merrick? You're sure it was Mr. Merrick? Or anybody with him? Oh, heck. Oh, Lord. Hey, pipe down. Why? It has Why? arrived. Breakfast? No, Dad. Why? Where? He's coming up now. His loss with him. Oh, great big boogeyman. No. Now, this is no joke. Now we'll get some fireworks. Now the trouble starts. Trouble? What do you mean, trouble? What makes you so nervous, Jack? You don't know Dad. Oh, darling, if he's going to make me look like that, I don't want to. This is serious. You realize what we've done, don't you? What? Well, we, we, we eloped. We ran away. We, we got married. We've got a fight on our hands. Oh, darling, we're two to one. We can fight the world. But I wouldn't want to fight Dad. I'm his only son. I'm the only thing he's got. You're my husband, and you're the only thing I've got. Yes, I know. Now you'd better get dressed. I'll go on in. I know Dad. You can't keep him waiting.
Hello, Dad. You young fool, I would ought to take you and break your neck. Why, Dad? What have you done? I've married a marvelous girl. Did you have to marry her? Now get that out of your mind. She's as straight as a die. Were you drunk? No. Well, who is she and who are her people? Her people? Well, well I've never asked her, Dad. To hear you talk, anyone would think I'd picked her up. As a matter of fact, Marion's a charming, decent girl who happens to work for a living. How does she earn her living? She was a stenographer. A stenographer? But she'd stack up with any of the girls we know. Well, that being the case, didn't it occur to you that I might like to have met the woman who's going to take our name? Yes, I thought of that, but to tell the truth, Dad, you're a bit of a snob. What? Well, you are. Because she happened to work for a living, you'd have ritzed her and questioned her. And you couldn't do that to her. She's got too much spirit. So rather than take a chance of losing her, we ran away. I wanted to be sure of her. Well, she's made sure of you, all right. Well, I'm glad she has. Well, Dad, I love her and she loves me. And we're married. What are you going to do about it? Do you realize what the papers are going to do about it? What the story will be? <laughs> Young Merrick elopes with stenographer in the middle of the night? Oh, Dad. A dirty, filthy, rotten scandal. Now, you listen to me. I'm one of the biggest men in this country, and you're my son. And as my son, you owe me a duty. That duty is to live up decently to the name that I've worked all these years to give you. And now, now you're quitting. No, I'm not yes, quitting. Yes, you are quitting. You're tangled up with some woman of the town. One of the kind that follows kids like you around, waiting for a chance to hook them. Something that you want to bring down to a place like this at night. Some low-down, low-lived, fortune-hunting parasite. Why, I... Marion. Jack, was he speaking about me? What? Yes, I was. Oh! Marion! Dead wise. Smart as a whip, too. Say... What are you going to do about it? I don't know. You don't know? Well, what? Send him away. If you knew Dad, you'd know that if he went now in the mood he's in, he'd never come back. You want him to come back? He called your wife a thing of the street. Oh, he's just mad now. Mad? Wouldn't you know Dad better? I don't want to know him any better. But we'll need him. Do you need him? I don't. Well, you're not going to bow out of $50 million just because he lost his temper, are you? His temper? Why, he didn't mean it. He did mean it, and I mean this. Not one penny of that man's money are you going to take. Oh, you're just upset now. When you think better of it... No, you're going to work as we planned. And I'll work too. Jack, let's keep our pride. But, honey... I married you, not your father or his money. Not for you to choose. But, Marion, I can't give up a fortune. I can give up my life. Go and send him away. Go out and send him away or I swear to you, I'll leave you. I mean it. show you how wrong you are about Marion. She just told me that if you had 50 times the money you have, she wouldn't touch a penny of it. And that goes for me, too, Dad. Uh -huh. I'm with her 100%. I love her, and I'm going to work for her. We... We don't need you, Dad. Jack. Jack! Yes, Dad? Come here, boy. Now, suppose this is the right girl for you. Suppose it is. It is, Dad. Have you realized that they'll only say one thing about her? What's that? She'll be just the stenographer that Jack Merrick eloped with in the middle of the night. Well, what's wrong with that? Oh, it's all very well to be cocksure now. But you've got your lives before you. And you mark my words, the day will come when she'll resent, and rightly too, the imputation that she caught you off guard, that she hooked you for your money. Well? Now, suppose we call this a day, uh, for now. Just what do you mean? I mean, have the marriage annulled. Never. If you wanted to start this girl off right, you'd let me have this marriage annulled quietly. Then the impression would be that you never had been married, but that you had met a charming girl. You'd brought her down to see me, and I liked her. Now, do you get me? Not quite. 
Then after that, we'll see what she has in the way of a background. Nothing at all? Well, a little publicity and we'll build one. But she doesn't need oh, one. Oh, now wait a minute. You know how I do things. We'll buy her some clothes. We'll build her up gradually. She's a charming girl. Everybody seems fond of her. You propose to her, the engagement's announced, and everything is jade. Then for a happy courtship, and after that, an honest to goodness slap bang wedding that'll start you both off right and put you in a spot in this city that the name of American titles you to. Now, does that make sense? I see what you mean. It'll be much better for the young lady in the long run, Jack. You must see that. Yes, yes, I see that. She's pretty touchy about the whole thing. It'll need handling. Good. That shows she's got spirit. Oh, she's got that all right. And, and it would be much better for her, wouldn't it? Why, of course. And then, Jack, a real honeymoon abroad. Say, what are the chances for getting the yacht on the Mediterranean? Anything you want. You know how I do things. Okay. Say, now, wait a minute. You will be nice to her, won't you? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you going through with that? You think I'm crazy? How do I know who she is? He's in love with her. Oh, he's nothing but a kid, and this woman swept him off his feet. When the time comes for him to marry, he'll marry Josh Carton's daughter, and he'll like it. <laughs> The young Carson girl, eh? Yeah, little Catherine Carson. She's a charming kid. Good family. Good breeding. One of his own class. I hang it all, man. This kid's the only thing I've got. I don't think you'll break this thing without a fight. Well, we can fight, can't we? We've handled people before this, haven't we? Let her start. Go on. Dad, thinking of you. It would be much better for you. What is this plan of your father's? Well, he thinks we should call it a day, just for now. Call our marriage a day? We'd still be married. How could we if they annul it? Well, don't you see? We'd be engaged all over again. I see, and in the meantime... Well, Dad would build you up with people. Build me up? I don't need building up. Well, well you want a position, don't you? I've got a position. I know why. Well, who said you were? You did. Well, I'll back Dad's judgment. After all, he is somebody. His opinion counts for something. You're right, it does. It counts for you. What is your dad exactly? What do you think you all are? You what? want to call this thing a day? All right, call it a day. I'm through. What? Why, well, Mary! Mr. Mary, I married your son because I loved him and thought he loved me. I felt that if he worked on his own for his folks, it would make a man of him. I put him to the test and he failed No, me. Marion. You came here to save your son from a fortune-hunting parasite. Well, you happened to save her instead. I know the marriage. Take him back. I don't want him. Marion. Go Jack, back. Your Marion. father's calling me. Jack. Jack. Late. So am I. Before you go, Miss Donald, I'd like to speak to you. There are some things to be gone over. I'm so late. You don't know that crowd on the morning like this. There'll be a crowd here if you don't get some of these bills paid. Miss Donald, you can't keep on evading them. I'm not evading anything. I simply haven't got the money, that's all. Somehow or other, we've got to pay Dr. Ridley. He's got to be paid. After all, you owe the baby's life to him. 
And I didn't tell you yesterday, but yesterday they came and took the sewing machine. The sewing machine? Four months behind on the payment. I'd like the money for that. That money went to the central market. Oh, surely, surely they would have waited. Oh, my God. Hello? Oh, Hello? Oh, Hello? Oh, Hello? Hello? Gotta collect. He says he's got to collect. Sixteen dollars and fifty cents. How's that? How long since you've been paid, young man? Don't know. These tradesmen are so impotent. Well, I like that. I might be Mrs. Rockefeller the way she ends them to me. Come on, why don't you leave it? Step on it, will you? I'm late. I step on you. Here, give her the change. So you gave him the twenty dollars. You didn't have to pay all that. Now you've given him the rent money and we'll be out on the street. Baby had to have his milk. I could have gone down to the corner and got it for fifty cents. Why didn't you say so? Now let me tell you something for your own good, Miss Don. You get fifty dollars a week. After that you pay me twenty when you pay me. That leaves you thirty to run everything. Food, clothes, rent, and all this baby costs you. Oh, my angel. At night when I bring these things up, you've got a sick headache, or, or you're tired, and you say, in the morning. Then morning comes, and oh, it's... I must go here. Well, I must go too, Miss Don. For good. Oh, you, you couldn't. And why couldn't I pray? Because you've got to take care of him. He's never had anyone but you. Oh, please, sweet. Let, let's talk about this tonight. Please. Oh, Miss Don. You ain't in no fit condition to go out and do a day's right. work. Well, your nerves ain't right. Mark my words, it's coming. What's coming? A breakdown, and then what would happen? Oh, why don't you do what you should have done long ago? What? Go to the baby's father. Let him help. No. Where's my umbrella? I left it at the bathtub. It makes puddles out there. I'll get it for you. What's the matter, Miss Donald? Telephone the office and say I'll be late. But what's the matter? Well, I'm all right. A little fainter. I'm perfectly all right. Nothing the matter. Get me a cup of tea, will you? I told you not to go out mornings without your tea. I'll get you a bit of toast, too. No, never mind the toast. Miss Potter? Yes? Come here. What is it? Look. It is welding of millions. Paris, France, November the 4th. John Merrick, Jr., only son of John Merrick, Chicago multimillionaire, was this day married to Catherine Flip Carson, youngest daughter of Joshua P. Carson of the Chicago Chemical Works. The pair left immediately after the ceremony for an extended trip through the sunny south of France. Well, that's that. Where's my tea? That tea, ain't it? Well, the baby's grandfather's here, ain't he? According to the papers, he's a charitable sort of man. Very. Then you should go to him. Those medics owe that baby something. Oh, Miss Donald, it's your stubborn pride. You can be stubborn about yourself, that's one thing. But a young baby's another. Hello. 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 Mr. Merrick, 
Mr. Merrick Sr., please. Mr. Merrick inside? He's waiting for you, Mr. Fry. Will you go right in? Any more news? Oh, no. Uh, while you're in there, tell Mr. Merrick that we're holding the wires on the uh, train till the last minute. All right. If my wife calls, tell her I'm going with it. Right. Hello? Hello. Mr. Merrick is leaving at once on the 20th century. Have you arranged for the motorcycle escort to take him to the train? It's most urgent. Oh, you have arranged What's it. What's wrong That's with it. that parish call? Oh, the delay's in New York, Mr. Merrick. Mr. Merrick, yes, not now, miss. Please. Hello. Hello? Oh, Mr. Sullivan? Uh, Mr. Sullivan, Mr. Merrick says you may publish this cable, which is all he knows. Paris, France. Car overturned near Lyon. Chauffeur killed outright. Jack and Catherine in hospital, Lyon. Both unconscious. That's all, Mr. Sullivan. Yes. Take it well. George Clark. Rich Hotel, New York City. Jack badly injured. Leaving 20th century. Obtain Surgeon O'Leary if possible. At any cost. Sailing Berengaria. Friday night. Hello? Hello? Oh, Western Union? Yes, just a moment, please. Yes, yes. Hello. Hello. What? Well, what is it? What is it? You gave him a lunch on the train. No, it's something about Pittsburgh. Come on, John. You haven't done it. Where is it? Come on, Billy. All right, what? Don't go on. Oh, Mr. Merrick! Mr. Merrick, you've got this far. No. Mr. Ferguson's in a director's meeting. He's been tied up for hours. 20 millions of preferred stock out of an issue of 40 million, and you're asking for an issue. Just a minute. Just a minute. Will you compromise and accept 225? We're compromising. We're talking, young man. I've been in this business for 40 years, and I won't be bulldozed. We are not bulldozed. We better postpone this and tomorrow. Now, you all understand the main features of the agreement. Miss Donnell has them in her notes. A copy will be mailed to you. Oh, well, well. Remember the last time I met Why, sure, you're heavier though now. Hello? Anyone going my way? I can't hear you. Can you speak a little louder? Oh, I hear the word Paris. Oh, I see. Yes, he's lost. He's regained consciousness. Oh, fine. Could you bring your notes, please? Yes. All right, thank you. What's the matter with you, Miss Donnell? What's the matter? Nothing. I watched you this afternoon at the meeting. You didn't take down any of the notes. Your mind was miles away. I'm sorry, Mr. Ferguson. Don't be sorry. Sit down and tell me all about it. There isn't anything to tell. Oh, yes, there is. Now sit down. You know, I've seen this coming on. What? A breakdown. A breakdown? Yes. Why, you haven't been yourself for weeks. Frankly, I'm worried about you. Is there anything so surprising in that? We've been associated for a long time, and after all, I'm a friend. Now, you better tell me what's troubling you. You've more important things than... Nothing is more important to me. Now, come on, what is it? Tell me all about it. There isn't any one thing. Everything, everything's all muddled together. I'm a failure. You're not a failure. Now, what you need is a trip to the country, out in the sunshine with that baby of yours. I can't. You can, and I'm going to see that you go. Why, if I saw a stranger in the state that you're in, I'd want to help. And you're much more than that to me. I've got <laughs> Mary.
<laughs> yes. Yes. And the funniest part of it was he paid the bet. <laughs> <laughs> Just one drink, and then you're going home. As beauty commands. Oh, aren't you gallant? Didn't they say that in the play tonight? Yes, don't you remember? Yes. And then he took her in his arms, remember? Yes, I remember. But you're not a brave guardsman. You're a very important lawyer with lots to solve tomorrow. That sounds very dull, Marion. I'm not the romantic type, eh? You're the real type, Hector. Ooh, you have brains and kindness and... Everything except romance, eh? Well, you saw how unhappily the romance ended in the play tonight. Sing one song. Oh, no, I don't. Just say. one song and then I'll go. <laughs> well, all right. If it pleases you. I sometimes wonder if you really are. What more could a girl ask to make her happy? You've given me so much, too much. Oh, that's impossible. As long as it, as long as all that pleases you, I'm happy. You're very beautiful. I like to look nice for you. That's the least I can do. Marion, could you ever really love me? You'll never know what a paradise you've made for me here. It's like a haven in a storm. Now, you're becoming the brave guardsman again. <laughs> Good night.
wonder where he can be. I wonder where he can be. <laughs> oh, my darling. Oh, my sweet. Oh, my precious lamb. Good night, my sweetheart. Good night. Give me a nice kiss. That's a sweet kiss. Oh, precious. You know what day tomorrow is? Sunday. My day, my day. And we're going my to the day. zoo. You know, we're going to see the monkeys and the lions and roar and oh, boo and all kinds of little animals. Won't that be fun? Now you go to sleep with pleasant dreams. Yes, pleasant dreams. Oh, Fuller is here to see. Fuller? You have pleasant dreams. Thank you, sweetheart. Fuller? Good night, my darling. Mr. Ferguson. Yes, he's late. We were going to the opera. That's it. He can't come. He can't come. I've just left him. Where? At home, at his house. He's ill, Marion. Very ill. Ill? Well, he was all right this afternoon when I left him at the office. I know. It was at the club. He was there with Mr. Moore. Mr. E.C. Moore, you know. What happened? Well, he was there as happy as could be, laughing at a joke. And Mr. Moore said it happened all in a moment. What happened? He collapsed suddenly. He sent you here? Yes. His one idea was that you shouldn't worry. Marion, you are his very life. Oh, I wish I could see him. Of course you can't. He's at home. I know, I know, I know. You'll want it on the telephone. Hello? Yes, Mrs. Ferguson. This is Marion Donald. Yes. How is he? Hello? Hello? She rang off. What did Mrs. Ferguson want? She said he wanted me to come over. I should come over immediately. You'd better go. He's asked for you and it must be serious. Get my wrap, quickly. Good evening, Dr. Becker. Good evening, Fuller. Dr. Conway. Good evening, Doctor. Miss Donald, this is Dr. Beckles and Dr. Conway. Is it? Miss Donald is Mr. Ferguson's secretary. Shall we go in now? He asked to see you, alone. Sorry if I kept you working. I could have helped. Could have, Doctor. Please make your visit as brief as possible. Yes, I understand. Man, man, don't go away. Don't go away. You mustn't leave me. You mustn't leave me. You must. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. 
How beautiful you are. Don't go away. Please don't, baby. I'll wait for you. I love you. Hey, and don't leave me. Please kiss me. Kiss me. Marion, kiss me. Oh, how, how dark it's getting. I love you. Take me away, take me away. Drive straight to the apartment, is that right? Paper, paper lady. What's that? That's an outrage the way they've distorted that. I don't need these papers to tell me what I am. Her eyes told me that night. I'll never forget those eyes. It seemed as though I'd stolen a part of her soul. Oh, it was, it was awful. Well, that's past. You must think of your future. My future? Well, you're financially able to do most anything you want to now. I'm not touching a penny of that money. What? I'm giving it all back. But you need money for your boy. Not this money. When he grows up, what can I tell him when he asks me where this money came from? Oh, how I'd like to undo this whole... Awful thing. Well, don't get excited, Marion. Wait and we'll discuss the whole matter when we get to your apartment. I'm giving up the apartment as soon as I can. You are? I can't endure the place. It seems part of that mad dream. I must have been mad. Hey, you know any Beethoven? Hey, uh, that bird wasn't there. I know it. You know it and what a place to eat. Listen, you punk. Oh, Here's my Marion Donald story for Sunday. The great secretary problem. Gee, this'll set the wives up higher in a kite. Should a wife have a hand in choosing her husband's secretary? Oh, give the girls a chance, or the wives will be picking them out of the old lady's home. And what about the secretaries? Ah, uh, there's always the follies. There are a lot of key punchers in this burg waiting for the boss to give them a little sugar. Well, 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 look what Grandma brought. Huh? The old man himself. Who? Hey. Ferguson, with an autograph, too. To Marion from HF. That's Hector Ferguson, all right. It sure is. So he certainly done something for this town. He certainly did. Say, hey, what's the lowdown on that bedside story when he kicked off? You mean about this Donald girl and the wife at the deathbed? Yeah. I got the lowdown on that. Pretty sad. In love with this Donald girl, all right. He was conservative, but he was no chaser. Hey, fellas, huh? look what I found. The plot thickens. There's a child. Say, bring the box down. Wait a minute, you Look at me, Doc. Wait a minute, I'll handle this. Oh, you can. Well, you put the punk over there. Say, here you are. Who's this, Sonny, huh? Unky Fergie. Unky Fergie. Say, is that a story or not? Sounds pretty raw to me. Oh, the kid will never live that down. Well, his mother's still Miss Donald, isn't she? Yeah. Inspector Ferguson, isn't it? Yeah. Say, the women will eat it up. Even the mayor will weep. Here she is. Well, how do you do? How are you doing? You can't take my baby sick. Wait a minute. 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 Wait I can't be in two places at once. They must have stolen out of it.
They've gone. I've got to tell them the truth. Tell them who Jackie's father is. How can you do that? They wouldn't believe you, and they'd only distort the truth and make matters worse. There's only one person in the world who should tell them. That's the boy's father. Why, he doesn't even know the child's existence. He must be told. We telephone and ask him to come here now. Do you think he'd come with a scandal now? We can soon find out. I haven't seen him in four years. What difference does that make? This is his obligation. But he's married. Even so, this is still his obligation. Make sure, 4 200. Do you think they could publish that? They could infer it. They're liable to say anything. Oh, this Mr. Merrick, Tom. Such a rich chance. Mr. Merrick. Oh, Almighty, never let it down. Merrick Jr. They're calling him. Hello? Mr. Merrick. Mr. Jack Merrick, Jr. Miss Donald speaking. Yes, I'll wait. I must protect him. I must. Hello, yes, I'm waiting. Don't you see what this would do to him? At school and after. If it touches him, if he suffers through life. I couldn't bear it. I couldn't. Hello? Jack? This is Marion. Donald. Could you come right over to see me? I, I can't, no, I can't tell you over the telephone. It's very important, very. 2460 Lakeshore Drive. Yes, I'll, I'll be waiting. All right. He's coming. That's right. I'm sure you'll find you've done the right thing. Now, when he comes, tell him everything. After all, you're asking nothing for yourself, but you do need his help for his son. You're such Let a me good know what happens. I will. You're such a good friend. Not at all. Cheer up, Marion, and good luck. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Get his clothes on. But he's in bed. Get his clothes on. Mr. Merrick's coming. Who? His father. rejoicing when those medics know they've got a son and heir. Young medic's wife can't never have a child of her own. Ever since she had that motor smash up in France, she's been a cripple in a wheelchair. And there's no heir to all those millions but our young Jackie. Oh, there'll be joy bells ringing all right. All right, please. You'll have to watch out if they don't try and steal him from you. Steal him? Well, if that old man Merrick got it into his head that he wanted the child with all his influence and money, well, we wouldn't stand a dog's chance against him. What are you talking about? Well, you know what you're about asking the father over here. But I'd watch out. They're an unscrupulous bunch. And... And what? Well, they'd have a lot on their side in the law courts with all the lies the newspapers are saying the about The law courts? Can't you see what this child means to that family? Yes. I don't say as they would steal him, but it's on the cards they might. And those people never lose anything they go after. Come on, Jackie. Have your socks on. Don't dress him. I want to get Listen, darling. Sweetheart, listen to Mother. Be as quiet as a mouse, and then I'll come back and read to you. Jack. It didn't take you long to get here. You asked me to come right away. I know. Something came up and I thought I might need your help. You can bank on that any time. Well, you see, it, it's all settled now. 
Are you sure? Because if there's anything I can do... Thanks. You'd rather not tell me what it is? Well, it's really of no importance now. I see. Well, that's that. You're looking very well. Thanks. So do you, little sinner. At three years' hard work, I guess. Yes. It's awfully good of you to come over. I'm sorry I got you on a wild goose chase. Well, if there is anything I can do, I hope you'll call on me. I will. Good. Yours? Yes, mine. I see. I didn't believe it. What? Well, I heard something about a child in Ferguson's will, but... Is that what they're saying? I heard something about it. Well, well goodbye, Marion. Take care of yourself. Jack, wait, wait! Yes? Yeah? Will you come with me? Why, of course. And now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep up. I should die before I wake. I pray the Lord my soul to take. Bless. Make, my, make, make me be my own mother's little boy. Be with it always. Jesus sake, amen. Marion. Yes. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't I know? You know now. You had to know. How old is he? How old would he be? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Why was he born? Here in Chicago? Yes. Well, why didn't you come to me? I want to stand on my own. Well, was that fair to him? It's a serious thing, having a child. Yes, it is. What reason could you possibly have had for keeping him away from me? I called on you today because I felt he needed your protection. Of course, of course. Would you have let me go away today without... I was afraid. Afraid of me? His father? I was afraid you might try to take him from me. Marion. Can you blame me? I know. I know. We mustn't think of that. We must just think of him now. You don't know how I've longed for something like this. <laughs> and something just like this, too. <laughs> you young husky, it's your dad. Your dad. Look at me. It's your own father, you monkey. <laughs> He'd like you, Jack. Of course he is. I saw it right away. He's reminded me of you often. Really? Mm -hmm, really. I can't understand. What? Oh, nothing. Never mind. I've got him now, haven't I? I've got you now, you young Samson. Here. <laughs> Come out here. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Say, Mary, this is a tough kid, do you know it? How much does he weigh? Thirty pounds. Yes, and then some. He's got the merry jaw all right, hasn't he? You're a Merrick, aren't you, youngster? Jack, you will stand by him now, won't you? Well, you try and stop me. We must stop that rumor. We'll stop it, all right. Leave that to Dad. Gee, just wait till he knows about this. You're his father. Anything that must be done, you do, will you? Marion, why didn't you come to me before? Look at us, Mary. Just we three. Jack. Mm -hmm. Want to see my kitty car? I'd love it. You know, Marion, 
when you left me, I, I went to Paris. I had to get away. Everything here reminded me of you. I went crazy over there. Then Flip Carson came over. In spite of what I was doing, she seemed to understand. Well, we were married, and then the smash-up, you know. Yes, I remember that day. They thought I was going under at first. I didn't care much. The only thing I could think of was what a weak-kneed rotter I'd been. And I swore to myself that if I pulled through, I'd try to be more of the man you wanted me to be. Did you, Jack? I swore I'd find you. I'd chuck Dad and the money. I'd find you. And it was that that pulled me through, that thought. Yes, Jack. Then when I was convalescent, they showed me poor little Flip, all battered up, so patient and brave. I remembered your words, you know, about being a man and sticking. So I stuck. But I've been working, too, Marion, all the time. Oh, I'm proud of you. Marion, we've got to come together again. But we can't. We must. But we can't. Why? We just can't. You mean because you don't love me? No, I won't let myself. How can you dictate to yourself any more than I can? I won't pretend. You must. We both must. Why? Why? Jack, we haven't a moment to lose. The reporters were here this afternoon, and they were inferring that Jackie was... Was what? Oh, what you heard. I'm afraid of the newspapers. We must stop them. Oh, gee, what time is it? Six o'clock. We can take care of the newspapers, all right. Now, you leave everything to me. Jack, I won't rest until I hear from you. When I get things fixed up, I'll come back and let you know. All right. I'll be here by nine o'clock anyway. Good. Uh -huh. That's it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Daddy. Oh, darling. Oh, my sweet. My sweetheart. Aren't you a sweet, darling? Oh, Give me a knife. Oh, do you? I love you. Oh, you sweetheart. Oh, how good. Do you want to go to bed now? No, of course not. But you have to. You have to go to bed. Oh, don't you tickle me. No, my darling. No, sweet. <laughs> Come on, now go to bed, darling. No, don't tickle, mother. Sorry to have disturbed you so late. It's all right. Do you mind bringing the other trunks up too? The two that are downstairs. If you please. Never mind, Fred. We're taking just what we barely need for you and the baby and myself. I have the babies right here. Fine. I'm sorry to see you go, miss. No, thanks, Fred. Bon voyage to you. <laughs> Thank you. Shout if you want anything. I will. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nice young man. Single, too. Pity we go in away. So you're giving it all up. Oh, what a relief that'll be. That's true, too. To get, get back to something normal, something we can call our own. What are you going to do when you go to work? Oh, I don't know. I've got lots of ideas. This young medic's in love with you. <coughs> know that? Yes. And what's more, you're in love with him. No, that's impossible. But he's coming again tonight. He's promised to see that Jackie's name is protected. He's coming here to let me know what's happened. And I'm starting all over again. It's a clean new page. Is that why you're leaving so sudden? Because you're afraid to see much of him? No, and I'm not afraid of anything. From now on, I'm going to fight back out of it all. Madame, Mr. Merrick is here. Oh, thanks. Blanche, I've left some things in the other room. Will you bring them in here? Good evening. Good evening. I'd like to see this child. I'm sorry, he's in better sleep. You've convinced my son pretty thoroughly that this boy is his. He convinced himself. I have further proof that he needs it. What was your reason for withholding the fact of the child's existence until now? I'd rather not discuss that. Well, what was your motive in calling upon us today? I called upon Jack. Why? Because my baby needed his father's protection. Jack's told me of the circumstances, and I am prepared to do the right thing. Yes? When I say the right thing, I'll remind you that I have no heir beyond Jack, and this child's place in the world... I understand all that. Now, I am willing to take this child. 
You are. Provided he's a fit and normal child, fit I would... Fit and normal child! You're robbing that child of his place in the world. His place in the world is with me, his own mother. Mother! What sort of a mother are you? How dare you? We can take that child from you. You can't. Can't we? Are you a fit person to bring up a child? Could you convince a court of law that you are? A court of law? Yes, a court of law. I'll fight you if it takes every dollar I've got in the world and I'll win that child in open court. You couldn't. Couldn't I? Suppose I tell the court it's not Jack's child. You'd brand him that, eh? I don't. No, no. Yes, you would. No. Yes, you would. You'd do anything. I got your number the first time I ever laid eyes on you. When you lured my boy up there to that place in the lake, you were after him then for what you thought you could get, and you're after him now. Am I? You are. I am, of course I am, and I can take him. Miss Donald, please. You're fighting me for my son, all right. I'll fight you for yours. I'll take him from you. Marion, Dad. I forbade you to come here. I know, Dad, but... Jack, do you remember what you said this afternoon, that we should come back together again? Yes, dear. You love me. You've always loved me. You love our son. Isn't this true? We should never have been parted, should we? It is true, dear. Jack, it is Jack, true. Jack, Jack, I begged you to send him away before, and you failed me. Send him away. Don't fail me now. You must listen to me. It's all up, Dad. Please go. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, you contemptible Go, creature. Get out of here. Get out. I'm through. Well, I'm not through. Marion. Marion, did you mean that? Of course I did. Then you do love me. I do love you, Jack. Oh, we'll go away at once. I'll never fail you again, never. We'll take our boy and go away. Just we three? Nothing will ever separate us again, ever. Nothing ever. We'll start all over again. We'll go away. Yes. You get ready. I'll arrange everything and come back for you. All right. Dearest. I'll be waiting. Pack everything. We're going away. We're leaving tomorrow. Have you changed your plan? Yes. Where are we going now? Europe anywhere. I don't know. Then you're not giving everything up? No, I'm not giving anything up. You say this will smash your life. What have you done to my life? I had your best interests at heart. Oh, you haven't got a heart. You try to run my life the way you run your business. And I wish you were as sound as my business. I'm glad I'm not. I'm human. Human? You human with that little wife of yours? Who trusted her life to a useless, no good bum in Paris? I know. Do you realize that half the time when that child is smiling, that poor little body of hers is in torture? I know that too. Yeah, you know. You know, and yet you can leave her in that chair of pain alone. Her spirit broken, her heart broken. With nothing, nothing in the world but the memory of you, her husband, who had left her for a creature whose name no decent person stop would... Stop it, stop well, it! I haven't got a heart, eh? I mean human, am I? Have you a heart? Are you human? Stop it, stop it. Yes, I tell you. Don't I know? You brought all this about, didn't you? Didn't you? Hello, dear. Hello, Papa Merrick. Come in, come in, come in. Hello, Jack. Hello, dear. I came with the dog. Yes, dear. I, I'm coming home right now. I got anxious. I telephoned from the man's voice. I gathered that something must be wrong. No, no. Dad and I had to get straight on something, that's all. Don't you look so glum, Papa Merrick. All right, dear. All right, but you shouldn't be out like this. Oh, it's a glorious morning. The sun's shining and the birds are singing. It's good to be alive. And you two old fogies, arguing in a musty old room. Can I know what this is all about? Well, I'll tell you at home. There's a lot to tell. I can guess most of it. Did you tell Papa Merrick about finding the boy? Yes, or? yes, dear, I did, yes. Can't I be in on it? Catherine, will you go along and leave Jack here with me? There's nothing more. I'll go with you now. Do you want me to sail along and leave you two alone? All right, I will. No, I'll go with Jack, you. Jack, please. This may be the last thing I'll ever ask you. Oh, Jack. When he asks like that, you'd better stay. I'll sail along. I'll be dying to hear, though. I'll go with you. No, Frederick is waiting. Frederick? 
Jack. What's the use? Let's not start all over again. Oh, boy. Don't you realize that you're all I've got in this world? You see, madame. Blanche, is it cold in France now? Pardon, madame? Is it cold in France now? Yes, in the north of France it's very cold. But in the south of France it's warm, what you call sunny. <laughs> the sunny south of France. France is it now? I thought we were going to good old London town. You see, madame, you haven't had any sleep all night. No, no, but there. Well, we sleep on the train. You might. Mr. Jackie left something to say about me. There's your bell. What's the matter? I'm what the Americans term all in. My feet will go just so far and no further. We'd better send some of these toys to the poor little boys in the hospital. We'd we'll never pack them. Madame? What is it? A cup of ladies. Ask her to come in. This is Merrick. Watch out for trouble now. Go in the other room. I'll be glad to get back to London. All right, sir. It's right upstairs. Yes, madam. Thank you. Nice drive, yours. In here? I can manage, thank you. Miss Thomas? Yes. May I come in? Yes, do. I'm Clip Merrick, Jack's wife. How do you do? I'm glad I found you up. It's an unearthly hour for calling, isn't it? It's quite all right. Could we talk for a minute? Yes. Where should we sit? Do you mind if I smoke? No, not at all. I'll get you a match. Looks like moving day. You going away? Yes, we're leaving today. And I'm glad I caught you. Thanks. Did you smoke? No, not now. Do sit down. Mary and Donald. Jack told me about finding you yesterday. Though I only saw him for a moment, he could talk of nothing else. And of the boy, too. Yes? I suppose you're wondering why I'm here. I'll tell you why. I've just left Papa Merrick's house. Jack and his father have been at it all night. They're nervous wrecks, both of them. And they won't let me in on what it's all about. You don't know? They wouldn't tell me a thing, but I have a pretty shrewd idea. Jack said he'd have lots to tell me when he got home, but I did feel that while he and his father were apparently deciding so much, we two women should have some say in the matter ourselves. Yes. Miss Donald, I've loved Jack Merrick since I was a child in arms. Well, I've always been teased about it. You know, I didn't know about you until after Jack and I were married. No? He told me about your elopement, and ever since then, I've wanted to meet you. Meet me? I've thanked you a thousand times from the bottom of my heart. Why do you thank me? I think you had a great deal to do in the molding of Jack's character. He's been splendid. So kind and gentle and... May I ask why you, why you came here? Because I want you to take him. Take him? What do you mean? I mean take him. Not only because he's madly in love with you, but there's the boy and there's... Because it's right. And you love him? Of course. And loving him, you could give him up to me. What right have I to hold on to someone because I happen to love him? What can I be to him? I'm only half a wife. Isn't love finer than our body? Nothing's finer than a son. He wants children. Who doesn't want a child of their own? Yes, I see. I don't say this thing doesn't hurt, but love's a beautiful thing. It's the only thing. And nothing fine comes without its pain, does it? You found that out when your baby came, didn't you? It's because I love him. I can give him up.
Because you love him, you can give him up? Yes. But I don't love him. No. No. Are you being quite true to yourself? Yes, I, I am, I am. Mrs. Merrick, whatever you may think of me, please know this. I have no intention. I don't love Jack. My plans are made. Yesterday when he came here, he told me all about you. Of his love, his great love for you, and he... I know, Miss Dowell. Please. <laughs> Is that the youngster? Yes, he wakes at the crack of dawn. Could I? Would you like to see him? Please. If you don't mind the muddle. Oh, not at all. Shall we go? Thank you so much. And then we're going, we're going out walking and we're going to see the flowers and we're going to have a beautiful time. <laughs> oh, hello, Kelly Head. Good morning. Good morning to you, I'm sure. Oh, he's good on. I have a picture of Jack as a child that looks just like him. Oh, could I? Oh. oh how old is he? Just over three. Oh, bless him. What's his name? Jackie. Jack. Jackie. Well, well, well. <laughs> we are. <laughs> How would you like to go for a ride, hmm? Jack. I've just left Dad. It's all over. I left him actually crying. It was awful. I'm on my way home now to tell Flip. Your wife is here. Here? Yes, she's in there with the baby. But... Without knowing what we had planned behind her back, she came here to give you to me. She said she could give you up because she loved you so much. But... I told her I did not love you and that such a thing was impossible. But why? Why? Because her sacrifice showed me what a horrible, selfish love our love would be. She showed me a finer love. Jack, you've got to stand by her. You're going on with her. But what about you and me? Our love will be a greater love if we do our duty. Our duty is to our son. Are you thinking of him? Yes, I am. He needs my protection. You've no right to deny him that. Do you think I haven't longed for him to know and love his father? But, Jack, I want to be worthy of his love. I don't want to sink any lower, ever. Sink lower? What do you mean? I'm not going to rob that brave little woman of her life. I can't, I won't. But you'd rob me of my son. What can you do for him alone? You called on me yesterday and I came, didn't I? In the position you admit you placed yourself in. Could you protect him as I could? Could you? Wasn't it a nerve? Out calling at this hour of the morning. Oh, I was dying to see him. I simply had to. Now I've seen him, I'm satisfied. Yes, he's fine, isn't he? Thank you for letting me see him, Miss Donald. You forgive me for bursting in on you like this, won't you? I'm glad you came. You two want to talk? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Little curly head. You know, Miss Donald, he... He confided in me a profound secret. He's dying for a pony. I want a pony. <laughs> no, I foolishly told him that Mother. if he was staying in Chicago instead Mother. of going off to foreign parts, that I'd give him one. Oh. That Shetland pony, uh, you know. Yes. I bought a Shetland thinking he could be trained to pull this chariot of mine around in the country, but Jack wouldn't hear of it. He had sordid visions of smash-ups and runaways. I told him he wouldn't be losing very much if I no, was to please don't. Over. Don't say that. Sorry, Jack. I was only teasing. I think you better take Mama Flip home. She's tired. Goodbye, Mary and Donald. Goodbye. Goodbye, you little curly head.
Now we'll pick out the toys for the poor little orphan boys who have no nice home to live in and no mother to care for them. Miss Potter, put his hat and coat on and yours too. Don't say anything, go. Come along, Jackie. Oh, that's my old dairy dog. Do you remember the lady that was here in the wheelchair? Yes. Do you know what she said about the pony? Yes. Would you like to ride on the pony? Yes, sir. Would you, darling? Yes. Take him over. Stay with him always. Go. Go. Don't it. No mother likes to see your car outside, like that. Becky! Becky! Thank you. 
you get that? Are you sure that you do? You don't All right, want then. Too much. I don't want it kept too much. Add this. If we can get an appropriation for five don't million dollars me more, you do. be sure and don't we can get that. this over. I'm the barber, madam. I, I know he's the barber. That's why I'm telling you. Five million more would be enough. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, will you? I have to trim it all around. Say, hey, listen, you. That's all right. Trim it listen, all right. Listen. What is it? What? Will you stop that pussy cutting and and have that child's hair cut? You will have him looking like a blooming convict. Well, I'd rather he'd look like that than look like a girl. Now, you keep your nose out of this and tend to your own affairs. I suppose he ain't my affairs, eh? Say another word out of you and you're fired. Oh, fire yourself, you old fuss budget. Yes. Now, you do that right. Hello. Madame. No. I have laid it oh, down to face with the for finger right. waves, right. madame. Well, you better go uh, and do your fingering right now. I don't Goodness think knows you can't do that. Madame, but I cannot stay. Just, 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 just a moment, like please. A sheep, madame, madame please. please, I cannot stay I here with David. Listen, listen, will you please cut this boy's hair? You won't make me so nervous. I'll make you nervous. I'll watch it. Wait his father and see what he says. You know his father oh, don't want to hear you. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know that. What's all you're waiting for? Mr. Something. Jack, just see what they've done to him. They've almost ruined him. Who did that? Your father. He said he didn't like the curls. It made him look like a little girl. And so he had the men cut them all off. That's what he did. It's all right, Mrs. Potter. Yeah. It's not so bad. We can fix I it. I don't know. Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Did he mean me? <laughs> you ought to know. Yeah. You're from Chicago. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> Hello. Hello. This is Mr. Merrick again. Now take this letter, please. Uh, Josh Carson. Chicago Chemical Works. Chicago, Illinois. Dear Josh, our thoughts will be with you on Sunday in memory of dear little Flip. A year slips by quickly, doesn't it? Say, Jack. Jack, I'm sending a letter to Granddad Carson. Anything you want to say? No, just give him my love. I wrote him this morning and told him how we missed little Flip. Poor old fellow, he must be pretty lonely. Jackie is very well and sends his love. He's, he's growing a mile a minute. Oh, Dad. Uh, tell him Miss Potter will send him a postcard from London. Yeah. <laughs> We're sailing for England tomorrow night. Miss Potter will send you a postcard from London. We shall discharge her immediately on arriving there for impudence, impert... <laughs> hey, read that back to me, will you? What? No, I can't understand you. Are you talking English? I asked you to read that letter back to me. Did you get that? Do you get that? My dear young woman, will you please read that letter back to me? Yeah, there, there. Oh. Take it easy, take it easy. Uh, these New York people, they're all the same. All right, I'll take it. Hello. All right, miss. Now, will you please read the letter back to me? I say, will you please read the letter back to me? Dear Josh, I thought we'll be with you on Sunday in memory of dear little Flip. You pass it so quickly, doesn't it? Little Jackie, Jackie is very well <laughs> and sends his love. Sends his love? Growing. He's growing a mile a minute. He's growing a mile a minute. I can't hear you very distinctly. Jack. 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 This is Marion. What? It's Marion. Jack, it's Marion. Jackie, I found her. I found her, Jackie. I found her. <laughs>
Thank you.